problems all started on commencement day When people asked me what my plans were I didn't know what to say Thought about hanging out in Europe Or traveling around the States But my car was total junk And I couldn't afford airline rates So I got down on my knees and prayed And sent out resumes Cause I needed a job Well I was just looking for an easy High paying career but I could wallpaper my bedroom with the rejection letters I got this year Cause the entry level job picture just ain't what it ought to be But at least I could blame all my problems on the economy I got the postgraduate overeducated out of work blues One and one is two, two and two is four 28 squared is 784 I know a lot of meaningless facts that I'll never even use When I'm not at the MESC office, I'm at job interviews I got the postgraduate overeducated out of work blues Okay, now check out the hook while the DJ revolves Well, I should have joined the Army instead of taking that SAT test Cause my BA degree is a bunch of BS And I wish I worked in a factory I wish I knew how to build stuff I should have gone to MoTeC Got a job where I don't need to know stuff Like the Keynesian theory of economics Or the stages of Freud I once wrote a 35 page paper About the significance of the United States Having a service based economy And now I'm unemployed, I'm unemployed I got the postgraduate Overeducated, out of work blues. I got the postgraduate. Overeducated, out of work blues. One more time for anyone who's got a master's degree out there. I got the postgraduate. Overeducated, out of work blues. I just want to say I've had a great time. This this whole event's been really inspirational and thought thought provoking, and I, I've really really enjoyed the, all the speakers tonight. <laughs> this this is a newer one. It kind of wrote itself after I was on the phone with my insurance company. Um, <laughs> I realized that they have a brilliant financial strategy because people have a basic need most of the time to to want to be alive and they're willing to pay for it I got a health plan taking part of my check on every payday But whenever I need them, they try to find a way not to pay And then I try to call them up and I get transferred here and there My PPO is making me PO'd while well, my health care doesn't care Oh doctor, please Take these chills and ills, oh doctor, please Give me bills and pills, oh doctor, please when I go, let it be quick, oh doctor, please. Cause my insurance makes me sick, it's true. They'll put you in a vortex, they're a bureaucratic beast. You'll have to fight with all your might till you are deceased. You can take names, write a letter, call them up and whine. But they'll still break all their promises for the corporate bottom line, oh doctor, please. Take these chills and ills, oh doctor, please. Give me bills and pills, oh doctor, please. I feel like I've been tricked, oh doctor, please. Cause my insurance makes me sick. Now, Elise is gonna do a, a viola solo. Actually, she's more like a viola specialist, so you'll be getting a separate bill for that. <laughs> How 
can it be? The claim's been denied after I spent half the day getting pre-certified. Guess it's just a game that I can't win. Think I'll check out the free clinic and take my multivitamin. Oh, doctor, please. Take these chills and ills, oh doctor, please. Give me bills and pills, oh doctor, please. Put something strong in my IV drip, oh doctor, please. Cause my insurance makes me sick. Now, now I was going to do a, a fourth verse to this song, but the, um, the pre-existing conditions contained in the first three parts make you ineligible for musical coverage at this time. If you'd like to hear this message again, press 2. To disconnect, press four. Oh, doctor, please. Take these chills and ills, oh, doctor, please. Give me bills and pills, oh, doctor, please. When I go, let it be quick, oh, doctor, please. Cause my insurance makes me sick. One more. Oh, doctor, please. Take these chills and ills, oh, doctor, please. Give me bills and pills, oh doctor, please. I feel like I've been tricked, oh doctor, please. Cause my insurance makes me sick. Hey, Matt. Hi, I thought Hi. you look like you're ready to do one more. Yeah, well, no, that's okay. You know, ironically enough, we have to pick up our kids from, from school. <laughs> but, um, you know, one more. What? They want one more. Okay, one more. Okay, that's it. Okay. All right. The wreck All right. of the old 486. <laughs> Last night, we went and, and saw the, the Temptations in Carmel, Indiana, and it was a fantastic show, and everybody got their, their cell phones out and, and to, for, like, the lighter effect. I was reaching... To, to get mine out, which I was really embarrassed about because it's a flip phone. And I realized, oh, wait a minute. Um, I didn't bring gloves tonight. <laughs> it was, yeah, the other the guy next to me. <laughs> Could have gone worse. So this is about the downfalls of internet romance, uh, whether it's about economic status or, or, or sex or whatever. People aren't uh, probably always honest on, on the phone when it, or on the... Um, on the uh, Computer, yeah, that's it. All right. See, she's really helpful. <laughs> She was trying to meet her soulmate surfing the web on a dreary Saturday night. She had a 56K modem and an AOL account thinking true love was about to be in sight. Hooked up with a chat room discussing the films of Stanley Kubrick when she found an intelligent voice. His handle was Molder and he said he wanted to hold her and he didn't sound like other boys. Yee! Well, she downloaded a photo of her beloved off the net that turned out to be 491 billion gigs in size. She yelled, this is a 486, not the latest thing from Dell, as smoke started to rise. And the man that she thought was the love of her life, both sensitive and desirous, turned out to be a 14-year-old, agoraphobic, spreading a computer virus. One more time. So people, please heed this warning before you let your hearts get swept away. Remember the story of this lonely little lady who got stranded in the cyber cafe. For she was found in her house with her hand on the mouse, mumbling something about updating her Facebook profile. I guess technology and romance don't always mix, and you might wreck your 486, Lord, Lord. You might wreck your 486. Have a 
great day, everybody.